Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. This is your boy Case coming at you guys again with another Tower of Fantasy video. So in today's video, I actually wanted to get you guys' thoughts and opinions on a topic that's kind of controversial. And it's about, do you think that global players utilizing CN Tower of Fantasy as a frame of reference to determine things is a problem for the global version of Tower of Fantasy? Let me know down in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this question? But to share my thoughts with you guys, I actually think that this is a double-edged sword that's going, kind of going around in the community. It's great that players are utilizing and getting the opportunity to see what's ahead so that they can actually prepare for certain banners, certain characters, and certain content. But the opposite side of this is just that players don't just go to the CM version of Tower of Fantasy and just look at things. They go look at things in Tower of Fantasy and they come back with information and an opinion. So, because that is the case of how things are going, um, we already know that there is not going to be one character, based on what we've seen thus far, there is not going to be one character that is going to be similar to how they were in the, the CN Tower of Fantasy that in the global version. They're going to be very, very different. The only thing that's going to be the same is maybe the play style, but in terms of stats and attributes and things like that, those things are all going to change. So please, 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 if you are one of those people, please take it with a grain of salt when you go over there because just because a character is OP in the CN version of Tower of Fantasy does not mean that they are going to be OP in the global version. What you generally will see is, and it happens generally often with the OP characters in CN, is that when you go over there and you bring back information to the global version, you create this revolving theme around, you know, if you go back and say like, you, you see it with the, the OP characters, such as like Lin, Saki, Lyra, you'll see people go over there and be like, this character is so broken over there. And they'll come back to the global version and be like, this character is so broken in the uh, CN version, they're probably gonna be most likely something similar in, in the global version. That is not factual information. There is not, that is not credible information. And when you do things like that, you are creating and spreading an expectation amongst the community that this character is going to be automatically good when they come to the global version of the game. We don't know that they're going to be good. Lynn, for all we know, could come completely nerfed, broken, like not even playable. That's a possibility because everything's going to be different. Do I think they're going to do that? No. But will she come different? Absolutely. So because that is the case, it's not... It, you have to kind of um, you have to give some disclaimers when you're giving out information, you know, saying like this information comes from the CN Tower of Fantasy, you know, in, in Tower of Fantasy CN version, she was broken, but we don't know what's going to happen in, in global version. She could be broken or she could be she could be totally nerfed. We don't know. You need to say these things because it's important because what can end up happening in a community for a game is that when people have expectations, when you create expectations for people and those expectations are not met, that's generally when you start to see communities start to rage and use their freedom of speech to state their opinions and which are generally met upset opinions to, you know, do things like attack, you know, developers, you know, pass slander about the game, etc. So I do want to just encourage everyone that, you know, take the CN version of Tower of Fantasy for only two criteria. Just look at what future characters are upcoming and what future content is coming. Do not pay attention to the strength and and you know uh, and weaknesses of characters in that version because it is not going to be the same in Tower of Fantasy Global. And if they were going to be the same, we still don't know the answer to that question because multiple previous characters have already come very. Uh, uh, very different from their CN versions um, over there in that Tower of Fantasy. So those are my thoughts. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you rate, like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you guys like this type of content. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!